Dr. Epstein, I'm with a patient with one of my, uh, the results of two days out from one of my favorite procedures due to the dramatic results we can achieve. This is a surgical hairline advancement uh, combined with some hair grafting done at the same time. Uh, surgical hairline advancement basically is for primarily women, but we do it on men with stable hairlines. Make incision along the hairline, bring the entire thing down, sometimes as much as five, like an inch and a half, two inches. Most patients, so it's around an inch, but it can make a huge difference because it's a nice thick hairline. Um, and it requires at least a reasonable amount of laxity of the scalp. Here's my patient today, Cindy. Go ahead and let me just show you the before photo. You can see what we had here was she had a really high hairline, as she called it, a five head rather than a four head. And you see it was a good, probably as much as around 12 centimeters, uh, maybe a little more than that, around 14 centimeters from the um, eyebrows up to the hairline. And here she is today. Uh, she's really happy. You can see that the hairline now is at around nine centimeters, so the hairline was brought forward just around four and a half, five centimeters. A huge improvement. Uh, she's so much happier with the position of it. We also did some hair grafting along here. So this is where the hairline was moved forward. Hair grafting place here, place here, so you can see nicely, just to show you, before and now after. Um, she's obviously very happy with the results of this procedure as almost just about essentially all my hairline advancement patients are, as long as they have realistic expectations and as long as they're good candidates. In this case, she was an ex a very good candidate. Not an excellent, but a very good because her scalp had good but not extreme laxity. Uh, what's going to happen is the stitches are going to come out around a week. The hair grafts will fall out. They'll start regrowing around, around, two, around three, four months. Maybe a year later, we may want to do a little more grafting to bring the hairline forward and or to do it into the scar if it shows at all. Most of my patients don't require this, but it's always an option. Um, anyway, this is Dr. Epstein showing the results two days post-op from a surgical hairline advancement with hair grafting. Thank you.